Dale Gentra of the second generation, 2013-2015 years of release. Good day, if you are wondering is it worth buying a second generation Dale Gentra and what problems you may encounter during operation, then you're at the right place. So the body can hardly be called the strongest side of the Dale Gentra, but there are no critical remarks to it either. If you take care of the car and know about their weak points, then the body metal can be protected from rust for a long time. When buying a used Gentra, first of all you should pay attention to the condition of the thresholds. They are not protected by anything, which is why they are covered with numerous chips in just 2-3 years. The lower part of the the front wings also suffers from small stones and sand flying from under the wheels. The rear wheel arch suffer a little less from external influences, but on used Gentras, damage to the paintwork will be here as well. It's better not to leave deep chips unattended, otherwise the unpainted places will be carved with a characteristic red bloom in 6 months. Unfortunately, the assembly production organized in Uzbekistan could not boast of a high assembly culture, so it's not surprising that even the new Deo Gentra could have poorly closing doors and rattling rear view mirrors. Most of the shortcomings subsequently had to be corrected by authorized dealers as part of the warranty service, but even they were powerless against the unwin body clearances found on many copies of the Gentra. On the other hand, carelessness during assembly, especially noticeable on copies of the first year of production, allows a little haggling when buying a second-hand copy. The notorious economy on the quality of components did not pass by the Deo Gentra. It's for this reason that the heated front seats of the wiper may not work on completely fresh copies. In the latter case, it is is usually a worn bushing, until very often Gentra owners have to deal with the need to repair the guide rod of the heater flap. There is little doubt that the problem will become more widespread as vehicle mileage increases. To the mark of 120-150 thousand kilometers, the generator bearings begin to make noise. It's hardly worth worrying about this, since the repair will be very inexpensive and will cost 1 to 1.5 thousand rubles. Future buyers of Deo Gentra will not have to choose a power unit. An uncontested 105 horsepower 1.5 liter gasoline unit was installed on the car. This same engine can be seen under the hood of the Chevrolet Cobalt. So the chain-driven design of the gas distribution mechanism will not surprise mechanics, as well as the need to periodically adjust the valve clearances using pushers. On the new Gentras, thermal clearances often required adjustment even with a run of 30-40 thousand kilometers. On average, specialized workshops ask for this work and all the necessary materials from 7 to 10 thousand rubles. By the standards of the class of budget cars, the operation is not the cheapest, but it's definitely not worth saving on adjusting the thermal gaps. Otherwise, by the time you have driven 80-100 thousand kilometers, characteristic sounds may begin to be heard from under the hood, indicating serious wear of the camshafts. The experience of operating in the Chevrolet Cobalt in a taxi has shown that with the regular maintenance, its engine practically doesn't cause serious problems. Accordingly, the owners of Deo Gentra should not expect any troubles either. As for minor problems, they are possible. The weak point in the 1.5 liter engine is the front crankshaft oil seal. With the onset of frost, when the condensate in the ventilation pipes of the crankcase gases begin to freeze due to the increased pressure in the crankcase, the oil seal can be tried to squeeze out. However, most often the oil seal just fogs up a little. If it still needs to be replaced, the craftsman will have to pay about 7-8 thousand rubles. The mark of 70-80 thousand kilometers often becomes critical for the expansion tank, which begins to leak. Moreover, as a rule, not the tank itself is rented, but a small plastic fitting. Replacing the reservoir is easy and inexpensive. The new one will cost about 800 rubles in order for the new tank to last as long as possible. Mechanics advise to lengthen the hose going to the fitting. This will help relieve stress. The cost of a cooling radiator, which rarely serves more than 120,000 kilometers, is noticeably higher, from 4,000 rubles. Paired with the 1.5 liter engine, both a 5 speed manual box and a 6 speed automatic could work. The clutch in the mechanics proved to be very reliable. For accurate drivers, it can last up to 200,000 kilometers. Unfortunately, the life of the release bearing turned out to be noticeably shorter. It will have to be replaced before the run of 150,000 km. Automatic transmission GM6T30 is not considered a model of reliability, but in fact it rarely fails. Especially if you do not forget to update the working fluid every 60,000 km. It's worth remembering that the automatic from GM is very sensitive to overheating. As a result, the most caring owners install an additional cooling radiator on their own. If the Deo Gentra with an automatic will spend most of the time in city traffic jams, the latter will not be superfluous for sure. Operation in unfavorable temperature conditions leads to the fact that the rubber of the pistons hardens noticeably, and the transmission oil that has lost its properties due to overheating contributes
contributes to a reduction in the resource of torque converter and solenoids. Cases when the automatic transmission GM6030 due to overheating required a repair even after a mileage of 60-70,000 km are known, but there are not many of them, especially when you consider that this automatic transmission was installed not only on the Deo Gentra but also on the Chevrolet Cobalt Aveo, the Chevrolet Cruze sedan and even the rather large Chevrolet Orlando minivan. Nevertheless, in any case, it's better not to bring the matter to a serious repair. Spare parts for the GM box do not differ in cheapness. Unpleasantly surprised by the price tag for used units. Surprisingly, the initially inexpensive Gentra has multi-link rear suspension. At the front, the McPherson scheme familiar to Golf class models is used. Literally leaving the gates of the car dealership, the first owners of the Gentra were faced with knocks in the suspension. Only after the mechanics carefully pulled all the threaded connections, the extraneous sounds disappeared. The first in the suspension are the front stabilizer struts. They will require replacement every 40-60 thousand kilometers. The price of the issue is low, from 600 rubles for a new part. Rear stabilizer struts withstand a little longer, up to 80 thousand kilometers, but they also cost more, from 600 to 900 rubles, depending on the manufacturer. From 60 to 100 thousand kilometers, the ball joints of the front levers can withstand. Silent blocks can withstand up to 130 140 thousand kilometers. Depending on the quality of roads and operating conditions, the resource of wheel bearings ranges from 100 to 150 thousand kilometers. Since they are changed separately from the hub, Repairs are inexpensive. A more or less high quality analog of the original wheel bearing can be found for 1.5 thousand rubles. Dale Gentra has no problems with the braking system. Disgusting quality native brake discs that require periodic grooving have long been replaced on the vast majority of used Gentras. Cars put up for sale on the secondary market are not so young anymore. So immediately after buying, it's worth paying attention to the condition of the brake hoses. Ideally, it's better to replace them for preventive purposes already with a mileage of 80, 100, thousand kilometers. Moreover, a new hose can be bought for only 300-400 rubles. Like the Chevrolet Lachetti and the Chevrolet Cobalt, the unpretentious, completely reliable and inexpensive Deo Gentra often worked in taxi services, where without serious remarks I drove 300-400 thousand kilometers for several years. Naturally, similar copies with corrected mileage will have to be filtered out from the total number of copies presented on the secondary market. Leaving aside the former taxis, the sedan from Deo can be highly recommended for purchase. Its operation, even when problems arise, will be inexpensive. If you are the owner, then be sure to leave a comment about this car. Your review will definitely help others with the choice of a car.